I don't think people understand the depth of Kendrick Lamar's journey. His journey is remarkable from the streets of Compton to the global stage. He's a wordsmith, a storyteller. Kendrick's evolution as an artist mirrors his personal growth. Each album is a chapter. We see his struggles, his triumphs. It's a story of ambition, of self-discovery, and ultimately it's a testament to the power of hip-hop as a force for change. Kendrick's music is more than just entertainment, it's a reflection of his reality, he tackles social issues, he explores complex emotions, his lyrics are raw, honest and thought-provoking, he pushes boundaries, he challenges conventions, and in doing so he's become a voice for a generation. This essay isn't just about music, it's about growth, resilience, and the pursuit of artistic truth. It's about a young man finding his voice, and using that voice to inspire millions. It's about the power of hip-hop to tell our stories and to shape our understanding of the world. Kendrick's journey is far from over, he continues to evolve, he continues to push himself creatively, and as he does, he continues to redefine what it means to be a hip-hop artist. We're all witnesses to his greatness. Section 80 announced Kendrick's arrival. The mixtape, later repackaged as an album, showed his potential. His lyrics were sharp, insightful, he spoke about his community, he addressed social issues. The album was a raw glimpse into his world. High Power became an anthem, it spoke of self-love and empowerment. Kendrick urged listeners to find their voice, he challenged them to rise above their circumstances. The song showcased his ambition. He wasn't just rapping, he was making a statement. Rigor Mortis displayed his lyrical prowess. His flow was intricate, his wordplay, impressive. The song showcased his technical skills. Kendrick could rap with the best of them, but he also had something to say. Section 80 was just the beginning, it was a sign of things to come. The album established Kendrick as an artist to watch. He had a unique voice, a clear vision, and he wasn't afraid to challenge the status quo. Good Kid M.A. Ad City was a game changer. Kendrick's major label debut, it was a concept album. It told the story of his youth in Compton. The album was cinematic in scope, it was filled with vivid imagery and complex characters. Sing About Me, I'm Dying of Thirst is a masterpiece. The song is a powerful exploration of life and death. Kendrick tells the stories of individuals affected by violence. He humanizes their experiences. He makes us feel their pain. Kendrick's storytelling abilities were on full display. He wove together narratives. He created a world that was both captivating and heartbreaking. The album was a critical and commercial success. It cemented Kendrick's status as a rising star. Good Kid M.A. Ad City was more than just an album. It was a cultural moment. It sparked conversations about race, class, and violence. Kendrick's ability to connect with listeners on a personal level was undeniable. He wasn't just rapping, he was sharing his truth. To Pimp a Butterfly was a sonic and thematic departure. Kendrick embraced jazz and funk influences. The album was experimental, challenging, and brilliant. It was a meditation on black identity, survival, and liberation. You is a raw and emotional outpouring. Kendrick confronts his inner demons. He grapples with self-doubt and survivor's guilt. The song is a testament to his vulnerability. He wasn't afraid to expose his flaws. All Right became an anthem for the Black Lives Matter movement. The song's message of resilience resonated deeply. It acknowledged the struggles but affirmed the strength of black people. Kendrick became a voice for the unheard. To Pimp a Butterfly showcased Kendrick's artistic growth. He was pushing boundaries. He was challenging himself and his listeners. The album was a triumph of creative expression. It solidified his place as one of the greatest artists of his generation. Damn was a return to a more traditional hip-hop sound but it was no less impactful. The album explored themes of faith, guilt, and the pressures of fame. Kendrick questioned his purpose. He wrestled with his own mortality. Humble was a global smash. The song was both a boast and a critique of ego. Kendrick acknowledged his greatness, but he also warned against the trappings of fame. The song's message was complex and contradictory. DNA was a powerful exploration of black identity. Kendrick celebrated his heritage. He embraced the complexities of his ancestry. The song was a testament to the power and resilience of black people. Damn, showed Kendrick's willingness to evolve. He wasn't content to repeat himself. He continued to push himself creatively. The album was a critical and commercial success. It won the Pulitzer Prize for music. Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers is Kendrick's most personal and ambitious work yet. The album is a sprawling exploration of trauma, healing, and growth. Kendrick confronts his past, he grapples with his flaws, he emerges stronger, more self-aware. Anti-Diaries and Mother I'm Sober are heartbreaking explorations of intergenerational trauma. 
Kendrick addresses sexual abuse, homophobia, and mental health. He creates space for empathy and understanding. We Cry Together is a harrowing depiction of a toxic relationship. Kendrick and actress Taylor Page deliver a tour de force performance. The song is uncomfortable, challenging, and deeply affecting. Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers is a testament to Kendrick's artistic evolution. He is no longer content to simply entertain, he wants to spark conversation to challenge us to confront our own biases and traumas. It is a work of immense power and importance. What's your next step towards greatness? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's inspire each other to reach new heights. Until next time, keep striving, keep growing, and keep believing in the power of your dreams.